Hello and welcome to Crafty Tuesday and it's a bit different today because we're in our garden so you're in Zena's garden today Zena and Father Paul's garden it's been such a beautiful beautiful week but hasn't it been hot phew we've been so hot it's been quite difficult hasn't it to sleep at night and the reason I've come out into the garden, apart from the fact that on a lovely day, it's nice to be in the cool under the apple tree here, but it's also because today's craft is messy. Very messy craft. And something that you really must do in the garden. I did the one that I'd done earlier in the garden, and the one that I'm going to show you how to do it is the same here in our garden. Because the theme today of Crafty Tuesday is Feed the Birds. I wonder whether you've got many birds come into your garden, if you've got a garden, or maybe if you've got a balcony, you've got a bird feeder that you can hang these on. But we're going to make bird feeders like this. You can see them there, and they are so, so very, very easy to make. All you need is a piece of kitchen roll that I've cut in half and that makes two. Get your kitchen roll, cut it in half and then you do need to have a jar of peanut butter. Go to Tesco's, the co-op, somewhere like that and get the cheapest peanut butter you can get. And what you need to do is you need to cover the toilet roll with peanut butter. Can you hear the birds in the background there? Those are seagulls. We get lots of seagulls in our garden. We live very near the seaside and we get lots of them in our garden. So what you need to do is you need to cover it with peanut butter. This is where it starts getting really messy and it continues being messy the more that you do. So cover your kitchen roll completely over. The more peanut butter you put on it, it's very hot in the garden, so at the moment the peanut butter is quite soft. But cover it all over. And then when you've done that, gosh, it's noisy in our garden, isn't it, today? Can you hear that now? It sounds like an ambulance or fireman or a policeman going past so cover it all over and when you've done that and you've made a real gooey mess with peanut butter don't do this if you're allergic to nuts check with the grown-ups at home that it's all right to do it if you're before you do it because if you're allergic to nuts it might not be a craft you can do this one but we're going to do another one in a minute that you will be able to do but cover it over and when you've covered it all over and it's messy like that get a tray and cover the fill the tray up with wild bird seed you can go to any shop that sells um, bird seed a, a hardware shop or pets at home or something like that and just cover it over roll it you can roll it like this just like I'm doing just keep rolling it until it's all covered in seeds. You might have to put more peanut butter on to glue it on. It gets more and more messy as you do it. See now why we're doing it in the garden, can't you? Because it's very, 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 very messy. And when it's all covered over like that, you've got something that looks a little bit like I'm doing now. You have to fill in all the little gaps. Make sure you do it with peanut butter. You mustn't stick it on with anything else because remember the birds are going to eat this and this is safe for the birds to eat. Don't use glue or anything like that because we don't want the birds eating it, do we, the glue. And then when it's all covered over like that, what you have to do, just wipe your hands, go out in the garden, you get seeds all over the floor like I've done. 
get yourself a bit of string and cut it off the bit of string it's going to even go oh noisier in the garden now because our cats decided to join us and thread it through oh dear the cat thinks this is great fun crafty tuesday is such fun when you've got bits of string and you're a cat isn't it that's echo and echo wants to play with the string that i'm using he thinks it's time for him to play you've got a pet cat i bet that's what they do when they see string the minute i got the ball of string out he wanted to play so tie it up like that and there you go you've got a bird feeder you can hang it in a tree or hang it on one of those metal things that birds come to to feed and you've got a lovely bird feeder that you can use you can do it i've done a bigger one on a coffee jar like this if mum or dad or somebody in your family use that sort of coffee in those sort of tins if you just ask them to take the bottom off and you can take the top off as well take the bottom off with a can opener it does work and go through the same with the peanut butter and with the um, seeds and you make a slightly bigger one and then hopefully the birds will come and eat it and as the winter comes that's a very good craft to do or to keep because the birds get very very hungry and they like to have them now if you don't want to do that because you don't want to go out in the garden or maybe you can't use peanut butter and nuts i've made some lovely peacocks here i've made this one and i've made another one and you just have to excuse me because the other one i've made i've dropped it on the floor here we are here's the other one there's there's the other one and these are very very simple as well they're just made out of a paper plate paint the paper plate in blue or green or a little bit of purple or light blue turquoise and you can make cut it in half first so that you've got the shape of the peacock's feathers coming up like I've done there I've used fingerprints can you see that I've used fingerprinting to make the feathers I've made a little shape of the head with a bit of white card and that's that peacock or this one here you can use your leftover bit of um, leftover bit of kitchen roll that you had make a hole in the top of it just two slits across the top a semicircle from the other side of your plate and stick feathers on it and it stands up like that so I think the theme today you could say for crafty Tuesday is feed the birds you can make these lovely lovely bird feeders which are really really lovely or you can make one with a coffee if you go onto the internet there's other ways you can make them you can make them with milk bottles or anything like that if you make them with milk bottles you can fill the milk bottles up and then if you can't do that you can make yourself a lovely peacock with beautiful feathers like I've done here or with a paper plate or I'm sure you can think of other ways that you could make bird feeding stuff or peacocks so enjoy the nice sunny weather while we've got it enjoy being out in the garden do remember to check that you can use the peanut butter that's very very important that you check with the grown-up at home about the peanut butter so thank you for coming into our garden look you can hear the birds can you hear them that's because they're looking forward to having some of these things we've made and we'll see you next week goodbye <laughs>